I got some work to do, guys. I got some work to do. <laughs> A monkey see monkey do here so right. you're doing a fantastic job of moving from right to left and i want to continue that rotation on through yes, yes, yes. i can't believe that's where i'm at i i just can't believe that's where you were at. we have made it to trinity forest this is a facility uh cam mccormick teaches in it's honestly dude you like you like driving you have no clue what to expect in this beautiful place just pops up out of nowhere, bro. Like, look at this. This is gorgeous. Dude, this is, it is. Step into my office. How's it going? Luis, how's it going? Is it a newer course? Yeah, built in 2015, 2016. Oh, it's brand and the golf course itself is across the other side of the highway. Best guess, 45 acres on this side. It's just practice and training. Nine hold off course out there. Wow. I mean, if you guys have time before you leave, get out on the nine hole golf course and, and play. It's hard. It's, it's hard? hard. Oh. Maybe we don't play it then. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing a fantastic job of moving from right to left, and I want to continue that rotation on through. Uh -huh. So I want you to feel like you're leading up into impact, you're at last parallel here, and the objective is to get everything straightened out. That's your body, and that's your arms and club. Okay. So it would be a freezer rep, but the typical freezer is like freezing the backswing and then restart the swing. For you, it's just freezing the follow through. So it's an uber short backswing motion, and it's there. Okay. I want you upright, I want you turned on through, and I want the club head feeling like it's just an extension of your left arm, so one straight line. Right. Okay. okay. I'll see you. Freeze, 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 freeze. Hold there, hold oh. there, hold there. You got it, you got it, you got it. Got it. Here. So not this piece, but this piece. There Ooh, you go. So okay. That's it? Yeah. I extended you on out, right? That's what I want you to do. On the through swing, I'm, I'm all up here and out here. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Great. Straighten the left leg. Good. Do it again. So you did it awesome that time. Just add that sensation for that left leg extending. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Even more. Uh, there you go. Left leg extension. Good. Do it again. I think that's like the interesting part for me is because I've worked on doing this so much, I just leave my leg there and yeah. I don't bring it back up. Yeah. You, your history in golf is kind of being unfamiliar to shifting off your right side to your left side. And so right. this is a kind of new feeling for you. Yeah. But it's one continued step from being hang back, hold, angle, flip, stall out. We're just taking that next step on top of that where we move from right to left and now we really can create the extension through your left leg and really release the loft on the club, okay? Right. We're trying to do something in movement, but yet the golf swing lasts 1.2 seconds, sometimes even less than that. Right. In fact, a lot of the time, the back swing is like eight tenths of a second, the downswing two is two tenths of a second, downswing to impact. And so in order to learn, one of the tactics we use is we just slow things down, right? right? And so the challenge is be Freddie Couples, and what Freddie Couples did, he used to warm up really slow and really rhythmical, right? And so I want you, to swing at about 50 to 60 miles per hour with his 8 iron, uh -huh. whereas typical for you is like 90 miles an hour. Right. And I want you to do it with a full range of motion back, a full range of motion through, incorporating those two sensations of loft on the club, rotation and extension through your left leg. 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, full swing, Freddy Couples, yep. loose. You're Freddy Couples, yep. full range of motion, full back swing, full follow through, Give yourself a slower pace through the swing, which is the whole point here. Right. So you can incorporate the movements so much more effectively. People want to do things immediately, and they want to do things at full speed. Right. Sometimes we can't do that. And so we use that learning tactic of just slowing things on down so you have better command from the brain to body to make these things happen. Gotcha. Yes, that's it. You probably felt as extended through your left leg as you've ever felt. Oh, yeah. You probably felt like you're about to jump, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the principle here. Open right. your body lines up. They no longer have to stay parallel to the target line closed. Right. Or, say, uh, that kills a lot of the left potential, too, in the shot as well. Really? There's a reason for this, yeah. Okay. Your body shifting, not quite rotating and getting out of this loft. That loft is passing underneath the clock and really fast and it can create some left potential. Right. Okay. I can see that. The rationale for this related to both items. Interesting. Fire away again. That's <laughs> so hard. 
Yes, excellent. On the back swing. So we've done the back swing, we're coming on to the back swing, and we are at impact. We're stable, throw our hands in the club head because right. we are rotating to the finish. Yes. Right. We don't have an abundance of the following, right? We're not lagged, right. and then we're not quick released. Right. That quick release is the left. Right. Got it? Got it. That's the whole point of feeling like the club head is a straight line extension of your left arm. Gotcha. Any ball that goes to the left has too much club head quickly I felt it there. passing under the hand. I felt it there. Mm -hmm. I felt it because I think it's because we're, we're swinging slower, you can feel the club like a lot better and I, yeah. I understood that. Yeah. I understood why I missed yeah. it there. And, and that's you really tuning in to the whole point of slowing things down so you have time to feel them, right? Right. I'd like that right knee, almost conceal your left knee and right foot to therefore be rotated on through in order for that to happen. And this structure, we call it a triangle, or the Y if you will, to be rotated through even more to where we don't get to see, we don't get to see the fingers of your glove below your right forearm there. We don't get to see the fingers of your glove below your right forearm. Gotcha. You see that? Yep. Yeah. And you do this beautifully when you rehearse it, and it's just a matter of integrating it. So let's take the distance or the length off the swing and show me that drill again. Yeah, I see, I know what I need to do. It's mm -hmm. hard for me to do it. Yeah, brain to body connection, right? Right. Yeah. So let's just go to the follow through. Rotate, 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 rotate. Now, we're not going to move this at all. Just take a look at the TV screen. See how it's really hard to see much of the fingers on your left hand there, right. with the glove, right? Yeah. And we've got right knee concealing left now. So that's the whole point. We're trying to stabilize our impact now because you've done such a good job of moving from right to left. Now we don't have to be quite so handsy through impact. Right. Tighten up that ball flat, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Not good. Mm -hmm. Close. Close. Clearly Close. better because the ball didn't go left, yeah? Right. So we need more activity. We need more going on here to make this easy. Right. One thing for certain. If a golfer is less active with a lower body leading into impact and or through impact, they'll always be more handsy. Right. Yeah. We want to take the hands out of the golf swing. Right. You don't need the hands in the golf swing. Okay. And the reason you don't need it is you're so strong. You can create the speed you need without the speed coming from the release. Right. Right? I'm different. About 45% of my clubhead speed comes from my release. Gotcha. I would guess if we put you on these 3D cameras up here, we'd see it's about 30% for you. Okay. That's a big difference. Right. So your power package is going to be your body. You're starting to learn to use it more. We just want to double down on how we use it through impact right. so we stabilize the face coming through impact. All of the drill the way you stop. You stop in the follow through right here. Right. So you, so you get up. Exactly. A little back swing. Pause. Nice. A little back swing. Yes, that's it. Well done. Once again, one more. Now you see very little going on through the handle. That's what, that's what we want your follow through to look like when you're swinging something other than 54 miles an hour, right? It's a little drill, but then you add full range of backswing, full range of follow through, and normal kind of power package, 90 miles an hour, and then you have very, very stable impact conditions because of this motion right. through impact. So we go there, and we go, how is that, a di a, that different to your original? We go way back here. Like way back. <laughs> it's crazy to look at. This so we'll just go one camera, we'll go face on. Here we go. <laughs> oh God. I can't believe that's where I'm at. I, I just can't believe. That's where you were at. That's where it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the old state of you. <laughs> I got some work to do, guys. I got some work to do. Uh, don't we all? <laughs> right? It's true. I mean, if we want, a, um, we want a different set of reality, we've got to kind of push forward. We've got to push through and, and, right. and use this new stuff right here. <laughs> In terms of like how you would practice this, you would practice it with mini swings. Right. And you do it five to eight to ten times before you kind of taste the cake and try and implement it into a full swing. Know that your, your sources of feedback are balls not going left, right. and then secondary source of feedback is a video camera from face on, 
observing what it looks like at first parallel post impact. Right. So when your arms are about belly button height, we're trying to extend and have that shape, if you will, that the V or the Y is facing the target. We got that left leg extended and that right knee is adjacent to that left knee covering it up. It's crazy how quickly Cameron will get in there and he'll say, this is what you need to do. And I'll tell you why you're doing things wrong and then you just, you do it. I feel good. That was, uh, that gives me a lot of good stuff to work on now. Who's in next? Who wants next? 